We're looking at that idea of air pressure and how air pressure affects whether we have clear or cloudy weather. And we said that if we have high pressure, we have what kind of weather? Sunny. Sunny and clear, good, yes, yeah, sunny and clear weather, right? And we said that if we have low pressure, we have what kind of weather? Rainy and cloudy. Rainy and cloudy. So, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little demonstration, and I just want you to watch the demonstration, and then once we do it, we'll talk a little bit about it. But I'm going to take this stopper, and I'm going to put it down in that flask really, really good. All right? So now, can anything come out the top of the flask? No, I've sealed it off, right? But this is a unique flask. This isn't like the ones we normally use, the regular Erlenmeyer flask. This is what's called a filtering flask, and it's got a little neck on it, where you can run some tubing in. And I've got my tubing connected to an air pump. So this gives me the ability to add air to the flask. Because if I pump this, what did I just do? What happens when I pump it? Yeah, I pushed air into the flask. So if I started out with this flask that had just the normal amount of air in it that the rest of the room has, and I added more air into it, I packed more air in, What's happened to our air pressure? Has it increased or decreased? Increased. It's increased, right? Because we said that higher pressure, it's forcing the molecules closer together, and it's making the air more dense. So every time I pump the pump, it's adding more air inside the flask, it's increasing the air pressure, and it's making the air more dense. What happens? What kind of weather do we have with high pressure? Sunny, Sunny and clear. Is it, well, not sunny. There's the sun, the light's the sun, right? So is it sunny and clear in my flask right now? Yeah, yeah sure, that's not a trick question, it is, right? Now, I'm gonna keep adding pressure, and I want you to watch, don't watch anything else, watch the flask, and watch it really, really carefully, and see if you can tell what happens. In a minute, but let's, let's just think about it. If I keep adding pressure to this, what's gonna happen eventually? That's going to shoot off, right? Now, before the top comes off, are we going to have high pressure or low pressure in here? Before it comes off. Before it comes off, while I'm adding air. High pressure or low pressure as I'm adding more air to it? High, right? But then when the top comes off, that pressure can escape. So then what kind of pressure will we have? Low. And I've also got some liquid in here. That's important. Watch what happens. All right, are we ready? I'm just going to add some, add some pressure. Keep watching. I don't know when things are going to happen, but just keep watching. Oh, there it goes. Can you see what happened to the flask? It fogged up? Yes, it fogged up. It got cloudy. We made a cloud inside our flask. And the reason that we did that was because of a change in what? Pressure. Change in air pressure. Watch this again. I'm going to put it on again. Let me push it down good. Let's pump it up again. All right, watch the flask closely. Now, if I put my hand over it, that cloud's kind of staying in there, right? We've got lower pressure. Remember, lower pressure gives us cloudy skies, possibly rainy weather. Watch this. One more time. Let's change the pressure. Now, you may not be able to see that over Zoom, but something that I can see looking at it here and something hopefully you'll be able to see in the video. As soon as I put that per first pump of air in here, we started increasing the pressure. Did you see what was left of the cloud just immediately go away? Were you all able to see that? Watch that this time. I'm going to pop the lid off again, and as soon as I do, I'm going to put my hand over it, and I'm going to add some more pressure to it, and watch what happens. Dang freak, that about hit me in the head. All right, here we go. So, look, got the cloud in here. Can you all see the cloud? Watch what happens when I make one pump increasing the air pressure. Cloud just went away, right? Because as soon as we add air, 
Those air molecules pack together. Those, they get close together. There's not room for the water vapor to be in between them. So now, all of a sudden, just because the air pressure increased, now we have clear skies. All right? Once air pressure goes lower, we have cloudy skies, stormy weather. And this really gives us a neat example of that because it's showing what's happening in the atmosphere. Now, it happens very quickly in here because I'm able to add a lot of pressure really quickly. That's not exactly what happens in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, pressure will increase gradually over time. But changes in air pressure give changes in humidity, which gives us changes in weather. Yes, Madeline, question. Not really. I mean, if we put Earth in a big flask and added air, but the reality, air pressure changes, and we'll talk about this in the next lesson as we talk about air masses and how air masses move. As air masses move around Earth, you'll have high pressure air masses, low pressure air masses. You have wind that blows from one air mass to another to kind of help balance out pressure. So as air masses are moving around the Earth, as wind's blowing, that's what's changing air pressure. So if we could control the air masses and control the winds, yes, we could, but we don't really, we certainly don't have the technology to do that on a large scale. That's why we have to demonstrate it inside a little flask. But this, to me, is one of the best little demonstrations of that idea of just pressure and humidity working together to give us clear weather or cloudy weather.